<laughs> Does it look entertaining enough? Sure. My name is Jeff. I came to SeaTech when the plant I was working at closed, looking to improve the skills I had and round out the skill set that would be most sellable to future employers. I started down the industrial maintenance track, and when that was nearly completed, I thought taking the HVACR program would not only complete the knowledge base I had grown, but give me a fallback career if things fell through. Today I work full-time as a maintenance mechanic for a great company that treats me fairly. And in the spring, I teach the HVAC module as part of the night course they have for facility maintenance here at SeaTech. Students that go through the HVACR course leave the course with an understanding of forced air heating that includes gas, oil, electric, and heat pump systems. They learn the refrigerant cycle that enables them to set up, troubleshoot, and maintain air conditioning systems. We spend a lot of time in the lab doing hands-on projects so the students better understand HVAC components, the installation processes, and the use of specialized tools and equipment. The students walk out of the class with an EPA Section 608 license, a High Pressure 410A certificate, and a NATE ICE certificate. These credentials are necessary for a career in heating and cooling. The EPA 608 is required for the student to purchase and use federally, federally regulated refrigerants. The R410A certificate shows prospective employees that you know and understand the safety requirements needed to use the higher pressure refrigerants. Finally, the NATE I certificate is the first step in showing a prospective employer that the student is knowledgeable and capable of pulling their weight right out of the gate, making it easier to demand a higher pay rate from day one of a new career. Our lab is supported by many local HVAC companies. They have given us many new and used units that we have torn apart and rebuilt many times. It gives the students the ability to see firsthand what could happen if certain things happen to a system while still in a lab environment, so they see the faults before they must fix them in the field. This gives them a ton of hands-on experience, which builds self-confidence as well as a knowledge base. A typical day in the lab, it all starts in the classroom. We begin with theory, the lab is then used to reinforce the knowledge we gain from lectures, PowerPoints, and videos. We do everything from troubleshooting from the component level up to the entire system analysis. We build mock systems. We do that for the heating module to show how each component works with each other. In the installation module, we go a step further and fabricate uh, all the duct work for a forced air system. Students leaving the class are fully qualified to work on residential heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration systems. They will have a fair understanding of commercial systems, like chillers and boilers. Most students are sought out by local HVAC companies and are often hired before even leaving the classroom. Qualities that are absolutely necessary for a good technician would be an attention to detail, good communication, and people skills. The ability to be coachable and being dependable. These days, I think you hear about the same line from everyone when asked what they look for in an employee. And these all apply to the HVACR field. Come on over to the adult education side of SeaTech. Uh, at the front desk, just ask for Tim Brocious. Uh, he's kind of the head guy in charge of this program and many others. Uh, good luck.